Hello friends, today we will be replacing characters inside of a live action video and it's a super quick one click solution just like in the video example here. And by the way, while we're in the topic of replacing stuff, did you know that according to a recent survey, seven out of 10 people don't notice when a word in a sentence is replaced by a musical instrument. AI. So I posted this on YouTube the other day. This is basically just a short video of uh, three women dancing where the characters are replaced by 3D rigged uh, mocap characters together with AI. And uh, let me show you the original here. So here's the original. It's a very short clip. It's just about three seconds. You can see them dancing here. So as you can see, there's really nothing more to it. These are replaced by the AI. It reads the skeleton of the character, removes the character, takes a new 3D character and animates that new character based off of the skeleton and that animation. And then I've added some um, adjustments in post just to get some effects on it. So as soon on the drum beats and stuff, I have like uh, the glitch effect just to get a little more you know, pop to it. And this is all done in something called Wonder Dynamics. So Wonder is an app that has been in closed beta for a very long time but is now available for everyone in open beta. So check that out if you want to. Let me show you this example that I have here, which is a little cooler, actually, because it's filmed on a much better camera in a better scene. So here's the scene with there's some sun and there's a lens flare here and she's walking in a canyon. It's a pretty cool scene, looks very cinematic and filmic. And here's the example that they have where there's just placing that character. And it's actually very, very simple. So let me show you how I did this. So you're creating a new project up here and you're gonna drop your video straight into here. Then we're gonna drop that into here. So if you only have one clip and there's no edits to be done here, you can just press next and then you can scan the frame for actors. If, if I remove my face here for a little bit, you can see here, scan frame for actors. And now they're scanning this scene, this clip, you can see here they found three characters. So if I press this one in the middle here, I have a character selected, and then you can replace it with a 3D character. So let's say you have this little, I have no idea what this is, some sort of a piglet. Uh, here's a toaster bot. Here's something called a beastie bot. It's a little small here, but you get the picture. If you just press that, that actor is, or that 3D character is assigned to this one. And if you select the second one here, you can take something else. We can take the dummy robot up here. Just to let you know, there's a limit of how many characters or actors you can use depending on what plan that you're using. They have a free beta test plan, but it's very limited. It's like only 7, 720 resolution or something. And if you want to do like more than that, you have the light plan, which is like 20 bucks now. So whenever you have the actors assigned and you can actually create your own ones, if you have like a model and texture. So he says here you can choose an FBX or blend files for your model and then add textures as PNG, JPEG or EXR. But I'm not going to do that because I am not that well versed in 3D. I only dabble with it. That was a long time ago. So whenever you have your stuff set up, just press next here. You can choose your final render composition. And again, since I'm on the light plan now, I can actually do 1080. Then you're just gonna start processing. And once that's finished, you're gonna have your video replaced here with the characters. Now the skeleton and the rigging are kind of cool. I've noticed that it lacks like the feet and ground and, and shadows and stuff like that isn't working great. And I noted in their examples, everything looks super cool, but you can't see any feet. So that's to be expected a little bit. And once I had those clips, I basically input them into Premiere and I loaded them on top of each other and just made cuts as you can see here. Now it's from the women to the characters here, to the characters here. 
and just added a glitch effect on. So it's really, really very simple. And this stuff, well, it hasn't been out, but people in the 3D scene and like the VFX scene has had access to the closed beta for some time now. But now everyone has access, so you can too. So check it out. It really is super cool. Now it isn't AI in the sense that uh, we're used to on this channel with stable diffusion and generative AI where it diffuses a new image, but there's some real AI at work here, actually replacing the characters or removing the character, reading you know the skeleton from the original. Now the new characters that are set in, they aren't AI per se, but still a very cool tool. And if we can get something like this implemented together with Stable Fusion and Generative AI or any other tool for that matter, we're going to have something really, really powerful. And I mean, it's getting there with control net and everything, but uh, here we have it in a 3D kind of space. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little different than what we usually do. If you want to learn something else, check out this video here. As always, have a good one. See ya.